Hey everybody, Bormac here for Nethergate. I guess. <laughs> Pretty sure this is where we left off. Also, uh, a button I could have used earlier that I didn't realize. Boop, boop. There. Now the fighters are up front. Now I want to get to that forest I pointed out. Hey, there's a dude down there. The sound of crying from a nearby riverbank and walk to investigate. You get there, you find something out of the ordinary. You meet a young boy bawling at the water's edge. When he hears you, he turns to look. He doesn't seem to be the least bit afraid of you. Before you have a chance to think about uh, what a boy might be doing out here alone in the wilderness, he says, Oh, hi. Please help me. I need a big person's help. Boy well, is very small and thin for his age, probably about ten. He has a very elfin look, and his hair is very short and fine, almost like fur. We've seen these guys before. Seems human, yet there's something very strange about him. Appearances can deceive. He might be dangerous, or he might just be a boy in need of some help. Let's approach. You could just attack a kid if you want, I guess. Boy looks sad and points to the river. I was playing here uh, with my ball here, and then I lost it. I dropped it. It rolled in the river, and it's gone. I can't find it. I think it might be on the other side, but I'm not sure. I have to tear away with a long, skinny finger. Bring my ball back to me. I'll give you fair payment. If that's what you're worried about, please. He sits down and resumes crying. So it's over here or over here? I am... there, I think? Uh... Circle Warrens. Where the heck yeah? Okay, now I can see where I am, but... Okay. Where the heck are the... Oh, I'm right here. Yes, I was there. So the ball is... Yeah, we haven't gone into here yet. No, well, let's see what... The wrong way. The left is the way of victory. You have stumbled into another of the network of caverns, caverns that seem to infest Shadowvale. The entry cavern is impressively large. The walls bear signs of recent excavation. You aren't sure whether this is a natural chamber widened by enterprising goblin slave labor, or whether this whole complex was dug out of the surrounding peat. You are confident, however, that these caves are infested by the typical nightmarish inhabitants of Shadowvale. You can hear them in the shadows hissing, snarling, and looking for meat. Peering over the ledge of the cliffs to the south, you can see that not everything in here is hideous. Is a hideous monster. Looking below, you can see what looks like a lone Roman soldier sitting by a small fire. He doesn't notice you. Hey, dude. His name is Harun. How do I know that? Also... Stuff. What is a lone Roman doing down here? Hi. From a distance, this man looks like a Roman soldier. When you get close, you can see that he wears their armor and wields their weapons. He looks very different. His skin is dark, his hair is short and black. When he sees your confusion, he stands and bows. Then he speaks in an unfamiliar accent. Please do not be alarmed. I know I am dressed as a soldier of the Empire, but my sympathies are with you. I'm Harun. I've come a very, very long way. Now I'm tired and there is an urgent problem, and I require assistance. Would you hear my tale? Sure. Rim bows and rests, bows again and rests by the fire. I come from the eastern reaches of the Empire, a dry, sandy place. Many unpleasant sects, many rebels. I heard stories of what it's like in the Far East. Rebellion racked Britannia seems pleasant by comparison. With great effort, I became a Rowan soldier. I believe in the Empire. I am faithful to it. But I am not entirely separate from my people and from the old tales. Since you've spent time in Shadowvale, you know some of the old tales are turning out to be true. Okay. I have heard rumors during my patrols of a mysterious sect of strange powers and of a desire of those powers to travel far away to this wet, uncivilized place. I investigated privately, and I listened to rumors. I did some questioning, heard tales of a conspiracy of rebels hiding in the sewers. I descended, I fought, 
And then I came to the artifact. Who are these rebels? Uh, some in the Far East follow a different religion, one I doubt that you have heard of. They are rebellious people with holy books of their own. I would rather not go into it. Okay, what about the artifact? It was a powerful spirit straight out of the old tales. I faced it. Its power was overwhelming. It told me of itself and its desire to come here. I wanted to fulfill... It wanted to fulfill some compact and to use a gate. Obviously, I did not understand it. I still do not. And I'm not sure that I want to. But in the end, it convinced me that it needed to be brought here. So, instead of leaving the job to rebels and incompetence, I undertook the task myself. Why did you agree to that? I'm loyal to the Empire, to a point, but not entirely separate from my people. The creature told me how the future would be for the Empire, and for us, if it... Uh... If it helped fulfill its contract. How... Uh, uh, we might one day be free. I saw it as my duty to agree. Even if it never me it meant never seeing my home again. And I will not say more than that. And you walked all the way here? Yes. He shakes his head. He looks very tired. It's a dangerous journey, but full of wonders. I saw Gaul. I saw Rome itself. When I reached Shadowvale at last, I made my first mistake. But a Roman patrol led by Titus Vorenus, curse his name. I was half dead from fatigue and hunger. I told him more than I should have. They saw their opportunity. Titus seized the artifact, and he and his companions deserted with it. They had dealt with the forces here long enough to see the power that a greedy, unscrupulous person could attain. And the artifact I bore contained more than enough for the likes of them. What happened then? I tracked Titus and the others here. I have camped outside his lair, trying to find a way to reach him before he tapped the power of the artifact and the entity attached to it. I have waited. Waiting for someone with the wisdom to see what needed to be done and to aid me. Titus must be stopped before he attains the power he seeks, otherwise the Empire will have enough power to crush you in an instant. Now that's no good. What do you need from me? Titus Arenas is holed up in these caves. He has the artifact. He has uh, the creature that is attached to it. He's extracting power from the creature. He must be stopped before he becomes too strong. Find your way to him. Kill him. Bring the artifact to me. That's rather vague. Strange, I know, but the creature, for all its might, is bound to uh, our kind. It is part of its nature that it must serve us. And if we can, f if we can find the right way to request its aid, that is, Varenus is slowly learning how to command the creature. Every day that passes, its mastery increases. And how do I reach him? He's created powerful defenders for himself, and he is untested. But he is untested in his powers, and he was sloppy. He may be able to find a way to weaken them before you approach him. How do I know you won't abuse it? He laughs bitterly. If I were not true, why would I have undertaken, undertaken the journey I did? Left my home, my family, my love, to... Dot, dot, dot. Shakes his head. I am true. I will hope that the creature is true to the, in the reward that it offered. Okay. So apparently there's a bad man here, and he's doing stuff to something that exists. Oh, hey. Another one of those things. We're not going that way. Not yet, anyway. Get back to that drop. 
this one over here. Because the way through here is blocked. So what is down here? Ow, 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 ow. It's not that bad. Okay. Open the box and find several clay tiles. Each of them are covered with dense, incomprehensible runic writing. One of them bears a crude illustration of a statue. Oddly, they seem to feel warm to the touch. They also vibrate slightly, as if some sort of spirit or energy is held within. Smash them! Let's leave them alone. Uh, actually, I don't think I have a choice here. Smash! Raise your weapon to smash the tiles, the box slams shut. You suddenly hear snarls coming from all around you. And you're surrounded by merciless killing machines, devoid of kindness or conscience. Whoa. Very, very rude. Harsh. Uh, can I smash them now? Smash the clay. It's not difficult. Brief keening noise, a few wisps of light raised from the broken tiles and fade away. Nothing else happens. You close the box. But the door's open now, so that's progress, I guess. What the heck is that? Cave bear. If you say so. giant fall I can't survive. Another locked chest I can open. And some pants. Guess what time it is. <laughs> oh man, I didn't save past that.
Yep. I don't know why it hangs when these bears are attacking. There you go. So hide. Small square section of tile floor in this cave. It's raised slightly and there's a fine crack around the higher section. So it's possible to push it down. Uh, not from this angle though. That block is in completely the wrong place. Oh, lava bats. Stop that. That's what you deserve. Freaking bears. Oh, here comes some more. Okay, there's a block I can push. And it needs to go here. Right there. That is a long way to push this block. Push it up this hill, right? Oh, no, you don't. Can't push it diagonally. 